Hey friend, today I'm going to share with you five easy and healthy smoothie bowl recipes. If you don't know what a smoothie bowl is, where have you been? Just kidding. <laughs> Essentially, it's a thicker smoothie bowl that you eat from a bowl with a spoon. It's a great way to sneak in extra fruits and veg and nutrients into your diet in a delicious way. You can add all sorts of toppings like seeds, nuts, fruit, muesli, granola, nut butter, you name it. You can really customize it to suit your taste and your macros. In this video, I'll be mainly focusing on the smoothie bowl itself, so you can add the toppings and customize it and get creative with it as you want. Before we get into the recipes, I have a few tips that I want to share with you. Number one, use frozen fruits and veggies. This will make sure that your smoothie bowls are nice and thick as we want it. Number two, I recommend using a vegan protein powder even if you're not vegan. These are generally thicker than whey protein powders and will obviously make your smoothie bowl thicker as well. So this is the one that I use. It's vanilla flavor which I use in all five of the recipes. I find that vanilla protein powder is a lot more versatile and you can make so many different flavors with it. Hello, editing Nikita here. I just came to interrupt myself to tell you that you don't need protein powder for these smoothie bowls. I've tested a few methods and I've come up with a solution for if you don't want to use protein powder, just check the description box and I will give you all the details there. That's all, enjoy the video. Number three, use a strong blender. The stronger your blender is, the less liquid you'll have to add and obviously your smoothie bowl will be thicker. Number four, my secret ingredient is frozen cauliflower. That might sound weird to you, but I promise it does not make your smoothie bowl taste like cauliflower. It just makes it thicker, it adds extra nutrients and an extra portion of vegetables to your day. You can buy this from most grocery shops or you can make your own by steaming cauliflower and then freezing it. And number five, I always like to add a little pinch of salt to all my smoothie bowls. It just brings out the sweetness and adds an extra depth of flavor to your smoothie bowl. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna do a voiceover over these recipes so that you can listen to my voice and not see my face <laughs> this is a strawberry cheesecake smoothie bowl and it was so yummy so we're gonna use frozen cauliflower, frozen strawberries some lemon juice and cream cheese and then we have some milk and some vanilla protein powder obviously we're gonna blend that up until it's nice and thick just remember that if your blender is struggling, you can add a little bit more liquid. Just look at that consistency. Mm -hmm. That was so good. Yum. <laughs> and on this one, I just added some granola. And then the second, this is one I make all the time. This is my anti-inflammatory blueberry smoothie bowl. So we're going to use blueberries, frozen blueberries, frozen cauliflower, spinach, vanilla protein powder, chia seeds, cinnamon, milk, and that's it. It is a weird combination, but it works so well. And the ingredients are so good for reducing inflammation. And I added some muesli and some goji berries. Goji berries are so good in smoothie bowls. They get like crunchy, highly recommend it. And then we have this bright green smoothie bowl, which has all the green goodness in it. My camera wouldn't focus there, great. <laughs> frozen mango, frozen cauliflower, spinach, zucchini, vanilla protein powder, and milk. That's four servings of fruit and veg in one smoothie bowl. I think my blender struggled a bit with this one, <laughs> but we got there eventually. And the color is so bright green. I promise it tastes amazing despite all the veggies in there and I added just some granola on top of that one and this one is probably my favorite of the bunch it's the tropical smoothie bowl frozen cauliflower frozen mango vanilla protein powder passion fruit which I was clearly struggling with <laughs> and then we have coconut yogurt and that's it and we're gonna blend that up oh my gosh I can't tell you how good this one is oh, the flavors are just so summery just so delicious <laughs> and look how thick that one was Ooh, beautiful yum and I added some granola once again and yum goji berries 
and then lastly the only recipe that contains bananas this is my banana coffee smoothie roll perfect way to get in a little bit extra caffeine got frozen cauliflower zucchini banana vanilla protein powder instant coffee and milk you can also use some cold brew coffee instead of the milk and instant coffee and blend that up and then put that in your bowl do your little fancy spoon thing and I added some chocolate protein cereal pretty good and that's it. You now have five new delicious smoothie bowl recipes at your disposal. Please let me know in the comments if you try any of these recipes. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to let me know. And maybe I can do a part two. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more easy and healthy recipes from me. And follow me over on Instagram at NourishingNikki. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you soon. Bye.